This region has inspired artists such as Van Gogh, Monet and Cézanne. It's also famous for its agricultural activity. But Europe, like other places in the world, is facing climate change and raising temperatures, which is putting a lot of pressure on farming. Agrivoltaics is one way to help agriculture adapt while also supporting the energy transition in landscapes like Provence. There are growing concerns about the availability of agricultural land. We need to find ways to optimize the use of the land. Agrivoltaics involves putting solar modules on top of lands used for farming or livestock, making it possible to generate energy while also supporting food production. Ambrea is pioneering agrivoltaic solutions. L'AgriPV contribue à allier la souveraineté alimentaire et énergétique sur une même parcelle. De plus, il y a de plus en plus de changements climatiques et des conditions extrêmes. Donc les panneaux vont venir protéger cette culture qui est très sensible à la grêle, aux épisodes pluvieux, aussi à la sécheresse. Extreme weather events cost the agricultural sector in Europe billions and billions of euros every year. With agrivoltaics, this risk can be mitigated. Nous avons mis en place des capteurs dans le parc AgriPV, ce qui nous permet de voir en temps réel l'humidité du sol, de l'air, ainsi que l'effet du vent et de la lumière. C'est dans les locaux d'Ombrea que nous visualisons en temps réel tous les capteurs qui sont ici sur site et qui nous permettent d'adapter le pilotage des panneaux. Depuis euh, cinq ou six ans, on a commencé à avoir des épisodes à la fois de canicule et euh, aussi des épisodes d'orage violent avec de la grêle. Donc on est obligé de se prémunir et de se protéger pour essayer de, de, de contrer ces aléas climatiques qui sont devenus de plus en plus nombreux. We are not only putting PV modules on top of crops. They are being designed, tested and operated to work alongside and even support the growth of crops. Total Energies aim to produce 100 terawatt hours of electricity per year by 2030. And a significant portion of that will come from solar energy. We are continuously striving to innovate between energy production and maintaining the agricultural productivity. This is one of the focuses at Pearl Research Center. Soil is precious. It can take up to 1,000 years to form one centimeter of soil. We can characterize the soil and the plants from the microscopic scale, looking at the microbes, studying microbe diversity, microbial activity, to the very large scale using satellite data, and we can monitor vegetation. For large scale experiments, we develop the InnoAgri experimental platform where we test different uh, technologies, where we can try different panel densities or different panel tracking algorithms and study their impact on crop growth. I believe this is just the beginning. It might still be at small scale, but what we do here in France could have a real impact and serve as a blueprint expanding agrivoltaics across Europe and beyond.